my 7th week of options trading on Webull mobile platform. I went against SPY. Looking at the fundamentals of the 4 hour chart, SPY looks as if it would continue to trend upward. The green 13 EMA is above both my 48 yellow EMA and 200 red EMA. MACD is still going up and there are more sellers than buyers right now. Against all the information that I gather, I placed several puts on SPY. I thought people are going to take profits and SPY was going to cool down. I was wrong. I bought 5 puts on SPY at the strike price of $425. My average price came out to be $75. Needless to say, SPY kept running up above my strike price and I happened to sell these 5 contracts at market price of $10. Losing $365.33% from the deal. My biggest blunder to date. Ouch that hurt Charlie. Going the wrong way with Apple. A quick look at the chart, I see red. This was my justification to buy a put on Apple at the strike price of $170. It cost me $113 due August 19, 2022. Just like my intuition of spy from earlier today. I thought Apple was going to sell and cool off. Boy, my judgment couldn't be more wrong. Usually, on Monday or Tuesday, the market would do a massive sell-off to take in profits but not this week. Apple continues to trend upwards like SPY so I'm going to hold on this contract for a few more days to see if it cools down. I made a mistake and should follow the charts and indicators. I learned that past trend is not indicative for the present, so I should kept it simple and look at the charts. Apple was going down and this happened. Apple was heading down to my strike of $171. I was happy as I was only down $31.50 from $113. As I was scrolling around, Apple soared way up so I quickly sold of my contract at market price for an additional loss. It was like $25 in extra losses but I managed to get out before I accrued more. I sold the contract for $61. Losing $52 or 46% from this deal. I feel like my back is against the wall and back at square one. Now my cash balance is $126.73 but let's continue on this journey. There's always a deal waiting around the corner. Don't give up and keep going. Snap into it and this happened. Based on the chart, Snap was trending upward so I bought 4 calls option contracts at the strike price of $12.50. I set my limit price at $30 and we both sold me 4 contracts. I was excited later to see Snap went above my strike price of $12.50. I initially set a limit price of $42 for we both to sell 2 contracts. It sold these 2 at my limit price. The remaining 2, I use a take profit stop loss. My take profit was $45 and my stop limit was $36. Eventually, we both sold off the remaining two contracts of SNAP when it hit my take profit at $45. SNAP continues to run up so next time I should keep one last contract just in case it does. I made a total of $174, that's $54.45% wow! from SNAP. Outstanding. I placed calls on Under Armour. Based on the chart and indicators, the green 13 EMA is above the yellow 48 EMA and red 200 EMA. MACD is above the signal and from the stochastic RSI, the green is below yellow meaning it is undersold. All good signs to buy a call. I bought two call contracts at the strike price of $10.50 that expired August 26, 2022. I set my limit price at $30. Later. I bought an extra call of Under Armour or ticker symbol UAA when I see that it's trending up. My new average is $31 for 3 call contracts of UAA. Overall, I had a great Tuesday by coming back with Snap. My net profit for today was like $2 but the upside is my knowledge. Your knowledge is infinite and they can't take that away. I bought puts on Snap then this happened. From the chart and indicators, it looks as if SNAP was going down. I bought 3 SNAP put option contracts at $25 each or $75 total. SNAP did a detour and turned back up so I panicked sale. I sold off all my option contracts of SNAP for $27 each. I made $6 or 8% from this deal. 
By only exude more confidence and patience, Snap continues to trend downward then I would make more money. Scared money makes no money. Don't play scared. I regretted selling them all and maybe should have kept one and remained in the play. Snap was trending upwards. From the chart and indicators, it looks as if Snap was going upwards. I bought 4 Snap call option contracts at $18 each or $72 total. The moment that I bought those call contracts of Snap, it continued to tank afterwards. It went well beneath my strike price of $12.50 and even below $12. It made me think about those put contracts that I had on them from earlier today. Snap made a decent recovery and actually I could have made a few extra dollars but I am going to chance it. I am going to keep these contracts overnight and see if I could turn a profit tomorrow. How to average down? I see that Under Armour was trending downward so I want to buy an additional contract. Prior to this, I already had 3 contracts of Under Armour or ticker symbol UAA. The 3 contracts averaged to be $31. Buying this new one cost me $18. My new average cost for 4 contracts of UAA is $28. I try to average down when my contracts get lower and I believe that they make a recovery. Average down when you see a stock get lower and you can afford to do this. Snap was on a rocket ship. From the chart, it looks as if Snap was coming back in a major way. I was tracking Snap for a while and told myself how happy I would be if I broke even because I was in the red. Instead of selling all my contracts like I did the past several weeks, I set up to sell two of my contracts. My ceiling limit price was $42 and my stop price was at $20. I later modified my stop limit to $24. Eventually we both sold off two of my Snap contracts at $24, and I made $16 from this deal or 30 pieces. I set one for the limit price of $42, and a final take profit stop loss. It hit my stop loss at $36. I made $24 and $18 or 133% and 100%. In total, I made $58 at 80.55% from well Snap done. today. Under Armour continues downward but I did this. Based on the chart, it looks like Under Armour is heading away from my strike price of $10.50. I bought two more contracted at $8 a piece to lower down my average. My new average is $21 and if it goes above this price then I'll be in the green profit taking zone. I have until August 22nd or next Friday until these contracts with Under Armour expired. I hope to turn a profit by then. Apple was like a roller coaster. I checked my buying power at first, and it was $112.20, which is enough for me to buy two put option contracts at the strike price of $172.50. This would cost me $55 each, or $110. Apple continued to trend downward beneath my strike price of $172.50 so I am in the green profit taking zone. I set up my limit price at 1.20 and stop price at 0.90. Eventually, we both sold my one contract at $90 when my stop limit was triggered. I made $35. For my final contract, I set a limit price of 1.11. It hit my limit price so we both sold my contract of Apple for $111. I made $56, and wow! it was $91 or 82.7% from the deal. I overextended my stay. This time, I knew that Apple would make a turnaround so it went back up. I bought two option call contracts and they averaged to be $44 each. Later, I bought three more and my average was now $37. Initially, I set to sell two contracts at my limit price of $0.67. I will get a credit of $134 from WeBull. Eventually, Apple hit my limit price of $134 and I made $60 from this. I continued on the ride with Apple and kept 3 remaining contracts. Apple charged me $96 for continuing and gave me back $15. I realized that I overextended my stay as I lost an extra $53. Bruh. My net profit for today was $36 from all the buying puts and calls from Apple. I should have got off sooner and sale all my contracts earlier. 
a look at my cash balance and tips and strategies. In the beginning of the week, my cash balance was $546.33. Now I have $147.22 in my cash balance and 10 contracts of Under Armour at the average price of $14. These contracts expired in about a week on August 26, 2022. I'm down $374.11 or 68.47%. Ouch Charlie, that hurts. I made a major misstep on Monday August 15th that didn't happen until Friday August 19th. I bought puts for SPY when it was continuing to run up. Tip number 1, follow what the market gives you, not your intuition. It made sense to buy calls then, and puts on Friday. Tip number 2, set up your take profit stop loss so you have a safety net. The market didn't return my gains on Apple so I lost Bruh. my money. Be smart, trade with the chart, this will grow a big heart, that'll allows you giving to the world to start.